Right then, let's have a little look at HMS Husey. But before that, we'll talk about the rig that we're putting into it. Very straightforward, lead, nice supple hook link. This is Fox Snare. Hook there is an SSBP size five armor point. Longish hair, and I've got this time just a little yellow bait. So, pop him in the boat and shut the trap door. Onto that, I'm gonna put a little PVA stocking bag of pellets. Now I'd like to soak these in cell, and you'll notice in there, I've got a small little foam nugget. That's one of these kiddies. And the idea behind that is to get the hook, pop it in to the foam and through the bag. And that does two things. Firstly, it stops anything tangling. Secondly, it stops the hook point catching on any of the pellets. And then there is another little addition on there in that when I know that bait is on the bottom, the nugget will pop to the surface and be absolutely fine. Now, word of warning here, we've got to get some pellets in the boat first because if that boat is wet, then your PVA will melt. So, a few handfuls of pellets. It's probably, I don't know, half a pound there. Drop that nicely onto the boat. And then, in addition to pellets, I'd like to put some ground bait in. Now, I've got a really nice mix here. There's pellets, there's hemp, there's a few chopped bits and bobs, including some corn and some boilies. So, this works very, very well at Abbey. I'm gonna put a couple of balls in, between golf ball and tennis ball size, and then a loose sprinkling as well. And that will really draw the fish in. It will particularly draw the small fish in, and if the small fish are in, the big fish will soon follow. And then, after that, the last thing we want to put in is a few more boilies as well. Now, you've heard me mention it before, this is cell. It's mainline. More of this goes into this complex than any other bait. So if you are coming over, what I always say to customers is bring the bait that you're confident in, but whatever you do, bring some cell because the fish absolutely love it. So, sprinkling of those in there as well. And that's it. HMS Uzi is ready to set sail. One of the most commonly asked questions that I get is what bait should I take to Abbey Lakes? And the answer is always the same. Firstly, take what you're confident in. If you've got a bait at home that you know works, bring it over because it will probably work here. However, we do have a default setting and I'll show you what mine is. For a start, Abbey Lakes fish absolutely love pellets. So get yourself a nice mix of fairly oily pellets. They do sell them out here as well. And the standard Abbey Lakes pellets get sent into the lake an awful lot. Now, in addition to pellets, I like a nice ground bait spod mix. In here, we've got some corn, we've got some hemp, we've got some chopped boilies, we've got some pellets, and we've also got some ground bait. And it's absolutely superb. A bit of liquid cell in there as well. You can ball it together and throw it out in balls like that, or alternatively, pop it in the bait boat and feed it loose. So what about boilies themselves? Well, you've heard me mention cell. Cell is the bait that goes in here more than anything else, and the carp out here, irrespective of which lake you're on, absolutely adore it. Remember that, mainline cell. That's a winner. So, what about the hook baits? Well, hook bait choice, again, is a very personal thing, but I like to bring a variety of them, which I've got down here. So, firstly, the default one. They're the cell dumbbells. Perfect for on the hook, and I've got some pop-ups in there as well. So if I want to raise a bait off the bottom, I'll use the pop-ups, but normally I'm using the straightforward hookers on the bottom. If I fancy something bright, the high-vis pop-ups, Frutella in orange, or alternatively, there's some pink ones as well. If you're struggling on the bottom and not picking fish up, then try a little flash of color. Now, speaking of color, white is excellent, especially if you're up in the water. The Fox Lake fish, they love to take baits mid-water and up towards the surface. So, zig rigs white baits, don't forget them too. And finally, just to combat the crayfish, something we found out here is these bankside D-livers in the bottom baits or the wafters seem to avoid the crayfish. I've got no idea why, because they do like the pop-ups, but the bottom baits and the wafters are very, very good. So as a hook bait, just to avoid the craze, D-liver wafters. Now finally, the other thing that you need to be bringing out are some high-rises. Some of this foam 
just keeps the hook point out of the weed, keeps it nice and clean, and basically, that's it for bait.